What it do, OD Gang? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, man, we got another lovely video. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be speaking about my boys and how much I miss my babies. Like, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm not treated fairly. Even though I got court 1028, yeah, I got court 1028. A lot of people always say, oh, just go to court. Just take it to court. Like, People don't be want to go to court, man. People don't want to go to court and put the government into your business and having all these unwanted parties like involving in your situation. Like, I just feel like it's fucked up that we got to go to that route when they wasn't a part of us or in our business when we was laying in the bed. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like, life been pretty cool for me, though. I mean, it been a little stressful, you know what I'm saying? A little obstacles here and there. But that's only because of like, like people in my surrounding areas trying to bring me down and just trying to like really like dictate like my future, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all, I gotta stay level headed, I gotta stay positive, and I most definitely gotta stay strong because I honestly do like miss like, you know what I'm saying, spending time with my kids and shit like that. And it's like my boys, especially KJ, man, sometimes I look on KJ pictures and I look at his face and I can tell that like he missing his dad, y'all. You gotta think about it. KJ is the only boy there, you know what I'm saying? Besides, like, his little brother and his uncle. And they uncle really, like, don't, like, intervene with them or don't, like, interact with them for real, for real. Like, it's more, like, an annoying, like, you know what I'm saying, mindset, like, you know what I'm saying, coming from him. But you got to think about he young. He's a, he's a teenager. So, like, of course, like, he probably won't, like, play his game on his room all to himself and just, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to have his, his peace. So, I like, by him, like, being suffered, like, you know what I'm saying? And being, like, crowned with, like, my kids, I just feel like it's unfair to, like, you know what I'm saying? Him, too. Like, this whole situation got a whole lot of unfairness going on. And it's just, like, it's crazy that women always dictate, like, father's roles. Like, you know what I'm saying? And try to, like, diminish their character and pull them away. Because you got to think about it. Like, man, I would love to spend time, like, with my boys. And, like, give her a break. You know, to, like, go and do whatever she want to do. Like, give her a little piece of state of mind. Because we all need that point where we need a break. You got to think about it, y'all. I can guarantee you one million percent. When that girl get tired, don't you got to think about it. Okay, she might love being a mom, right? But everybody had that day where they just... Just want peace and quiet. Like I can, I don't, I don't understand like why I can't be the peace of the bridge to be able to allow you get your peace in your space and let me like you know what I'm saying be a father and bond my kids. Cause at the end of the day, like you can't tell me my kids don't miss me. Do y'all think my kids miss me or they feel like oh my mom and my dad got a back and forth dispute? So fuck my dad. I don't care about my dad. I only love my mom. Like, do y'all really feel like that? Do y'all honestly think that, like, my kids really, like, going every day and not asking about me? I find it hard to believe. I feel like my kids, like, they want to watch me. Like, they like they probably, like, want to watch my videos. But my, my, my late, my recently couple videos probably wasn't being, like, you know, kids suitable. But majority of my content is most definitely, like, kids suitable. And I just feel like... I just miss my babies, bro. Like, I just want to spend time with them. Like, it's been so long since I don't, like, seen, like, my boys. Like, all my kids, honestly, though, my daughter's birthday, Kasaya, coming up 10, 17. So, big shout out to my daughter, Kasaya birthday coming up. Her mom supposed to be taking her out of town. I supposed to be getting her. They're supposed to be coming down here, but plans have changed. Like, for her birthday, she want to go out of town. And she want to bring a couple of her cousins, like, um... Well, um, birthday party. So, her mom says she want a phone. I don't know what's up with kids and these phones and these tablets. Like, they don't watch Toy Story no more. Like, they don't play with stuffed animals no more. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, but another thing, I don't even know what my son done probably been asking for or been wanting lately because I haven't talked to him. I haven't spent no time with him. I haven't even heard his voice. Like, I just miss my boy, man. I miss my boys. I miss my girls. I just miss being like that father. I can't wait to, like, get back in, get back in that daddy mode. Like, I don't know. It's stressing me out, y'all. It's really killing your boy to like be able to like wake up every day knowing that I got good bit of health in my body, my freedom, my free will, and I can't even share it with my kids because at the end of the day, y'all, I am a a a. 
honest father. And when I say honest father, I mean like real genuine, like to the point like my kids, all my kids is daddy babies. Like I treat my kids like they the only people on the world. Like they, I treat my kids like they all that matter. Like they matter the most, you feel me? At the end of the day, I always want to continue to make my kids happy. I want to like be there for their life. I want to go to their field days. I want to go to their parent teacher conference. I want to continue to help them with their homework. Because you got to think about it. And that's another thing. Like, I don't even know who really helping them with their homework now. Like, or if they even doing homework. Because I know when they were staying with me, when she moved in with me before she made me lose my apartment. Yeah. She made me lose that too, y'all. So she made me lose more than just my job. But when they were staying with me before she made me lose my apartment, I was the one every day helping my kids with their homework. Every day going through like they I get them a task and go tell them go in their room with their sources and let them do it and I come back and check it off, make sure everything done correctly. The other parent was not doing that. They were just sitting on their phone, taking pictures, trying to do like little TikTok videos, but they never really like gave them that real honest like instructional attention. Like you know what I'm saying? I was the parent that was doing that. And I just it just killed me to to wonder like who is doing it now? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Like, my baby's got good grades. You know what I'm saying? My baby's doing good in school. And, 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 and speaking of school, like, I don't even know what's going on with KJ. Because I remember last year, teachers was calling me every day about my son. You feel me? About how he, you know what I'm saying? Acting out and how he, like, got to sit by himself and stuff like that. And I just felt like all that behavior was coming from him, like, I wouldn't necessarily say neglected because I don't think that like she would like really like neglect them. But I do feel like she don't get them the attention that they rightfully deserve. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, that's why they were so close to me. That's why they were so attached to me because they know I give them all the attention, even a little bit more attention. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it always been about my babies though. And it's just like, I just miss them so much. Like, you know what I'm saying? These videos making back and forth, it ain't cool, you feel me? It's entertaining for y'all, but, like, for me, it really hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? It really hurt. It is just, like, it, it ain't driving me crazy, but it's just, like, frustrating and, like, upsetting me, y'all. Like, I just want to be a good dad to my kids. Like, I just want to be a good dad to my kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm in my other two kids' life. I don't understand, like, why I can't be in, like, my son's life, my my, my my two younger boys. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still want to be part of the trippers life, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I know that wouldn't be up to me. But at the same time, I ain't got no love lost for none of them, man. I love them girls. Because I raised them girls, man. I raised them girls. I could never turn my back on them. I could never be lit of them. Like, even in these back and forth videos, not once have I ever bashed my kids or, like, talk down on my kids. Like, that's like straight peon. That like little boy shit. Like to be doing like to add kids and grown for business. Like that's why I don't understand like why she interfering with my custody of like with my son. But I just gotta wait, y'all. Court coming up October twenty eighth, man. So I just gotta wait, man, and just see like what the judge gonna do. I know she's gonna try to go downtown and try like take TPOs out of me and say I've been doing this and that. And honestly, I have not been doing anything to this girl. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing about it is you wanna know what I be saying if you ain't been watching me or you ain't been stalking me or you ain't been like, you know what I'm saying, watching my every post. Like the girl know every single thing I do, y'all. And it's just like it's upsetting that like you see what I'm on. Like, am I a bad father, y'all? Honestly. Like, truth be told, like, am I a bad father? Do I deserve not to be a part of my kids? Do I deserve for her to like take my kids away just because she feel like she the mom? Like, it's unfair. Like, y'all, that shit shouldn't, like, be right. That, that shouldn't be happening, especially to a father like me. Like, I was a stand-up guy that took on responsibility to her kids and showed her, like, damn, this is a young good, this a young guy, but, like, he really, like, got, like, a father potential. Like, matter of fact, let me have him another kid. Like, I may have a baby with him. Like, and it's, I just feel like I was finessed, y'all. I was just finessed out my sperm. I would finesse out my sperm. I would finesse out my love. I would finesse out my apartment. I would finesse out my jaws. And a lot of people keep saying how they know that it was her. Like, it could have been anybody. Well, first off, I'm going to say it like this. Before I got to thinking, I'm like, you're right. It could have been anybody. But then I go to the repeated pattern of the uh, repeated 
past history. And it's just like, I lost this first job called Bulldog Moves because of her. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm an honest man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to take accountability for my actions. Each job that I done got fired from, honestly, truth be told, I gave them a reason to like want to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like tell on me and try to get me fired. But at the same time, it was always beneficial to her. It was always beneficial to the family. So it was like for you to like take the initiative to really like call and I don't even know exactly what you said because they never told me like, like Bulldog told me that she called. Roy, you told me that she called. And his last job, they didn't want to tell me who called, but I already knew off repeated patterns of past history who did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's how I know it was her. Because not only she made me lose my job, but bro, she made me lose my apartment. Y'all act like y'all forgot about the video when she got down, was bringing old man to my spot. And she took a TPO to get me removed from my own apartment. You know what I'm saying? And I took too long to respond because the apartment said they could have reversed that because they don't get into a personal business. Especially when, like, because I didn't own that apartment. I was only written. So you got to fall under. They got, like, that's private property. You got to fall under, like, they rules and regulations. But, you know, I was just trying to be a good guy, be a good stand-up dad and just, like, you know what I'm saying, open up my door. But what I should have done, I should have told her, no, you can't stay with me. The boys can stay with me. You know what I'm saying? I know you probably want the girl to tell me because I'm not the biological father, but the girls, like, gonna have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Stay with you because I don't even want that burden of, like, you trying to, like, mislead, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my guidance. So I was like, I should have been like, the boys can stay, but you got to find you something else. You know what I'm saying? But me being the nice guy, me being, like, you know what I'm saying? The bigger person I allow to come in and take my apartment away from me. And it's just like, I'm tired of losing everything because of this girl. Like, I'm tired of losing jobs. I'm tired of you losing, like, not even custody, but just more so, like, visitation and just, like, time bundled with the kids. And not only that, y'all, not only that, man, I'm going to just wrap this video up, y'all, because, you know what I'm saying? It's hurting. To like not be able to see my boys and like be a father because I love being a father. Like, father give me life, father give me extra years to live for. Being a father keep me like sane, keep me grounded, keep me level headed, and keep me like on the grind to like, you know, make tomorrow better than today. And without my kids, it's hurting and it's sad and it's sickening. But I don't want to get emotional, y'all. So I'm just going to end this video right here. Do yourself a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notification bell. And I will see y'all in the next video.